The member from London West. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Speaker, on Friday, October 20th, student leaders at eight Ontario colleges urged the government to get college administrators and striking faculty back to the bargaining table so that a negotiated settlement can be reached and 500,000 college students can return to their classrooms. My colleague Cindy Forster and I, uh, the member for Welland, reinforced their call in an open letter to the Premier. Speaker, students feel that they are caught in the middle. They worry whether they will be able to complete their program requirements. Many are paying both tuition and rent and are understandably anxious about the financial burden they are carrying when their semester might be lost. Speaker, what is this Liberal government going to do to bring the parties back to the table so that a fair resolution can be achieved? Thank you. Minister of Economic Development and Minister of Economic Development and Growth. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, we share the members' concern, obviously, about, uh, about the length of time that this strike has been ongoing. And I perhaps uh, have an interest here, maybe I have a conflict of interest. I have two sons, Mr. Speaker, uh, one at uh, George Brown, uh, taking construction engineering, another at Centennial College taking HVAC. Both graduate this spring, so they too are anxious about what the potential impacts this may have on their year. Uh, so we on this, there's no monopoly here on caring about the, uh, the interests of these students. I think we all care equally. I think the best thing we can do at this stage is to urge both sides uh, to, to stay at that bargaining table and, yep. and get to a deal as soon as possible because there's no question the time being taken impacts our students. Answer. So, Mr. Speaker, I guess my, it may be in, in the supplementary question, the member can tell me, is her party suggested, suggesting that now's the time for us to legislate them back? Is that what they're suggesting? Because that's the only tool we have. Supplementary. And to the Acting Premier, Speaker, provincial underfunding of Ontario colleges has resulted in tuition fees increased to the maximum, ballooning class sizes, and an explosion in the use of temporary contract and part-time instructors, all of which puts quality of education at risk. College student enrollment is at record highs, but full-time faculty have all but disappeared. 80% of faculty are precarious part-time workers with no job security and no benefits who must reapply for their jobs every four months. This is not fair to students and it is not fair to faculty. Speaker, what is this Liberal government prepared to do to ensure a fair negotiated agreement that includes the resources necessary to implement equal pay for equal work in the college Question. sector? Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. I've been asking questions on a daily basis uh, on this, and I understand the concern that we both have and we all have for our students. But, Mr. Speaker, what are they suggesting we do? I, I mean, the alternative is, Mr. Speaker. Sir. Mr. St Speaker, we're strongly urging both sides to get to an agreement as soon as possible. That's in the interest of, of, of our students, Mr. Speaker. But is the member suggesting that now's the time for us to legislate them back? If that's what you're suggesting, then come out and say it and stop hiding behind the rhetoric. Because, Mr. Speaker, there's been no government that's been done more Thank for you. the college system than ours. 